Uh, in recent months, food prices have been increasing, bringing about the fear that we might have another uh, food price boom, similar to the one in 2008. Uh, circumstances that brought about this uh, food crisis are a bit different from what is going on now. In the first place, let's see what is going on today. Um, we have a growing population and uh, we also have an, a growth in, of income in developing countries. And developing countries, especially in some parts of Asia, have been doing very well in the past years. And this has caused that they have a more uh, increased demand for uh, uh, high level, high value products, food products. This has put some pressure on the demand and also accompanied by the uh, population growth, um, demand for food is increasing. Now, another circumstance that is pulling the prices up is the weather conditions. For example, wheat has, uh, has not been doing well in Russia and Australia due to, in one case, uh, because of the wildfires and the other one because of the floods. Corn also is not doing well in Argentina, the second world producer and exporter, uh, because of drought. And rice uh, in Pakistan, the expectations are, lo are lower now because of the floods. Now then we have also the uh, oil prices and energy prices and other commodity that prices that are going up. This uh, also puts some pressure on the, on the food prices to increase. Uh, oil is uh, part of the whole chain of production of food uh, as agriculture is an uh, uh, energy intensive, uh, fuel intensive uh, industry uh, starting from fertilizers to processing, transportation, everything has to do with, with oil. But on the other hand, oil is also putting pressure on certain types of crops for the production of biofuels, which themselves uh, put more pressure on the, on the food markets, especially on the, uh, on the sector of corn, where um, in the US uh, there are subsidies for biofuel production, and this is also pushing prices up. And then uh, we get some rela something related to uh, policies and the market. Uh, inside of the market. There, uh, there is the feeling that there is some speculation going around and this, that this speculation could be linked to the loss of value of the dollar against other currencies. Uh, this, could be, this could have some truth, uh, but also markets are moving uh, smoothly in some ways. One market that is, uh, that is uh, increasing its value constantly is sugar, and uh, sugar hasn't been able to recover in the past years and is being in, the, the price is being increasing consistently in the past uh, years. Now compared to 2008, the differences that we have now is uh, to start with, uh, we have more stocks of uh, food. Uh, the market was able to recover from the crisis, the productivity uh, downwards uh, spiral that we had in the, in the year 2006 uh, and on. And, um, uh, we have different also the, the dollar, the price of the dollar, uh, the value of the dollar currency is more stable these days. So these are important um, factors that are not happening now. What do we have to uh, look at towards the future? Well, the first thing is that we have to get used uh, to a continuous increase in the prices of, of food as population keeps on growing and also income in developing countries grows, we will expect to have more demand, more pressure on food commodities. And in this, in this case, uh, constantly as population grows, as income grows, we will expect prices to grow as well. This will be kind of a normal trend in the world uh, from now on, uh, given the circumstances that we are living uh, this, of course, affects some countries and some parts of the world that are, are not catching up with the uh, income growth of other parts of the world. Uh, international markets will, will play a big role in this. To say the less, um, countries are setting up policies. For example, uh, some, of the, some of the prices, the, the price rise of uh, rise in, in the world uh, a crisis of the 2008 was due to uh, some bans on exports that some countries put in place to avoid uh, the increase of food prices inside of their markets. So this kind of uh, 
this kind of distortions or this kind of, of intervention of local governments also will affect international markets. In this sense, we have to look for ways of harmonizing and working together in, uh, in finding ways that the international food markets uh, act more efficiently. And finally, productivity has been left aside. The increase of productivity has been kind of stagnant in the past years. We need to go back and put more effort on uh, agricultural research and development. We need new varieties that are, are more efficient and are more resistant to plagues and changing weather conditions. And talking about weather, we need also to put a lot of attention on the climate change and the effects of weather changing conditions on crops and on the yields that are gonna happen in the near future and in, in the medium term as well. So we need the overall um, a reinforced effort on this kind of research. For on one side, technical research, and on the other side, research on aspects related to weather changes and international markets.